Well, hello and welcome to episode 51. My son recently posted the following quote, people are like music. Some speak the truth and others are just noise. I responded by saying that I'm a little bit more, a little bit of both, but definitely more noise than truth. The truth tends to be boring, but it's also a necessity. And his second quote was, some things are better left unsaid, so don't open up a can of worms, to which I replied, so how else are they going to breathe? And worms do more good in this world than people do. On another matter pertaining to my son in a hearing that we will be a part of, I had thoughts of saying something in the hearing, and he advised me not to say anything unless I was asked. And I replied to him by saying, oh, I guess they've already heard me speak before. <laughs> well, welcome to another day in America where you can be rest assured that this one thing will happen today. Since it's now a daily occurrence here, there will be another mass shooting or a single shooting somewhere in one or more of our states. And the worst thing about these shootings is that we appear to be getting used to it. And that's a major problem. There have been 23,506 deaths in the United States in 2020, as of yesterday, July 12th, which is a staggering number. And to think, just last week, Japan had their first and only gun death for this year, and it was their prime minister. Imagine that, 23,506 dead from guns in the U.S. compared to one in Japan over the same time period. In 2021, there were only 10 gun deaths in Japan. If we somehow keep this pace of murders by gun this year, keep up this pace of murders by gun this year, we could achieve 45,000 gun deaths in 2022. Absolutely incredible. It seems that we've now easily become the most violent country on the planet, along with the wealthiest. How ironic that is. Most Americans no longer live in the real world. Some because they don't know any better, some because they choose to, and some because this is what they are taught and they don't question anything. In their naivete, they are instructed to live within catchphrases, faulty and deceptive sales pitches with no underlying truths, and these factless propositions do much more harm than we realize as they capture the attention of the inexperienced, feeble-minded, and prejudicial folks. This is nothing new, but the effects are now becoming monumental with the open digital world captivating anyone born after 1975 with flagrant lies and deceptions. Here's a case of someone living in a fantasy world. And this was on a recent Last Week Tonight episode with John Oliver, in which a Southern Nevada Water Authority spokesman claimed that despite the water issues in the state of Nevada, manifest destiny and the American dream justify our needs regardless of what our numbers and data might be. Now that's really scary. We're taught to live in a bullshit microcosm in which anyone can claim whatever they want in the interest of big business, Hollywood, online or social media, or marketing or advertising, blatantly lying, and many people choose to go along for the ride to Shitsville saying, hey, that sounds great, I'm in. This has consequences, and it's rapidly doing us in, especially with climate change. We're already within the tipping point, and for those who don't understand the concept, once we cross the line, the ramifications are absolutely calamitous. I don't want to go too deep into this, but for those who want to learn more, you're welcome to research this. And this is absolutely not a hoax. We have to eventually wake up from this dream, or should I say nightmare, Unfortunately, we have made so many strides in research, science, and technology, which makes all of this the more despairing since we have the knowledge to correct or maybe maintain climate change. And to our disappointment, there are still those seemingly intelligent and educated folks who deny this, and many of them are politicians, scientists, though probably not many scientists anymore since they have nowhere to hide, engineers, executives, and other decision makers. Lastly, all I can say is this, we have to do a lot, a lot better than what we are currently doing to combat this. And lastly, I try to stay on top of my game as well as I can at my age, but I neglected to include a show that I also found very entertaining from my former top 20 list of the most comedic shows. So I suppose it's now a top 21 list. And that show is Reno 911. Reno 911. It was a very funny show. And I also neglected to add an actor that I forgot to include from the list of film noir movies, and that was Dana Andrews, certainly one of the better actors from that genre, especially in the film Laura. I will end here.